Okay, we'll start with the Mr. Desk 60 wet fly hook. Uh, this is without doubt one of my favourite wet flies. Uh, not only to tie but to fish. We'll just put a bit of tying thread on that. I'll remove that. There's many ways of tying this. Uh, everyone has their own pattern. We'll just get some gold tinsel neck for the oops, for the rib and the tag. We just tie this in. I'm going to go a little bit, it's a sprout hook I'm using, so I'm going to go just a little wee bit down into the bend for the tag. And then we'll come back up again. And what we need now is three or four tight turns. So this is again personal preference. Then holding that there, we can go back into the tinsel and tack it off there with a couple of turns then get it out of the way and go up the hook shack again about halfway just hang that out of the way now until I need it again so what we need now for the tail is some bronze mallard Let me just pull that off Fold it so it wants to be about as long as the hook. I like a long tail on these. What I'll do is there, so we'll just tie that in. A couple of loose turns, yeah, that'll do. We can go back holding the tail in position as we go. Is. Just go up a wee bit, trim that off, same length as the tinsel underneath, and we can just tie these two in. There we are. And go back down the hook shank. Then we need some hairsier dubbing. Start with a wee bit of that. Let me just put this on just to get it attached in the beginning. And many ties use different kinds of dubbing for this, but I like to use the hairs here. Right. I'll just hold that tail together. That I need a bit more. I just want to cover the uh, rear two thirds, really and the hook with this a little bit more. I like it to be buggy. Getting there just a drop more. Always a problem with dubbing. I pick stuff up from the time bench here that shouldn't be in the dubbing. There we are. That's looking nice. It's looking good. We take our 
gold tinsel and we want five or six even turns of that through the dubbing body. Tie that off there now. And in front, and over again. Let's get rid of that. Just cover the end of that tinsel so it doesn't get in the way of anything. And we want a speckled partridge. Again, you can use other stuff here for this. But I like to keep the partridge there, strip off the downy feathers, then to prepare it for tying in I like to attach the hackle player there and then pull everything back. There we are, that's ready for tying in now. Other than I like to just clip off a bit of that. So a couple of turns in front and I like to give it one in the back at the back of the hackle just to keep it in the right position. Trim off those. Hackle plier again, that's a bit too long, that's a, just trim a bit of that off, attach the hackle plier, take it into the body, now I like this partridge hackle to be a little bit longer than usual, as I think it fishes better when you've got that movement of the partridge hackle at the front, and some also like to tie in a uh, a false throat hackle here, but I like the full wet fly hackle. Okay, I can go one turn around there and move that, keeping it tight. Then what I do is I just pull on that to tighten everything up. break off. I'll just trim it off. Back up. That's looking all right. That's looking good. Just a couple of more turns there. There we are. Then what I need is some wax because we're going to do the wing. So I use turkey for this. I like the mottled turkey. So we need two turkey quills. We need two slips, one from each side. Uh, you can use hen pheasant. You can use woodcock, but I prefer the turkey quills. So you cut two pieces. So we've got the two quills back to back now, the slips from the quills. Now, if you're doing it this way, sometimes I like the wing to be pointed, much more pointed than this, but I like a, a steeper angle. Um, you tie it in a little bit longer than you wish, because when you tie it in, it'll shorten a little bit. So I'll put that there. I'll go up and around. And tighten down. There we are. So we'll just tie that in now. Secure it. Take a look at it. That's good. Then we'll just remove the front of the quill. Then we want to go into the hook eye and start going up towards the wing. Otherwise, if you try and start at the top, 
and go down your thread will slip off all the time and you don't want that happening yeah that's looking good we'll just give that a whip finish Even if you wish to fancy it up a little you could put some jungle cock on there but I think that's it I think what we need to do now is just varnish it oops drop more varnish and that's it finished March Brown white fly thanks for watching <laughs>